All right, former Nittany Lion quarterback Christian Hackenberg joins us. It was great to see you last week. How you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, likewise, um, always good to get back on campus and catch up with with folks like yourself. So um, I'm doing well, though. All right. So part of doing well is that you've you've transitioned in, into doing some coaching along the way, and you've done some work with with Bill Belton. How did that happen? So uh, my wife, who played lacrosse over at Penn State, uh, Tatum, she's a Jersey girl. So being up in North Jersey for a little bit, um, when it came time for us to think about trying to uh, set up a home base, she won that battle. <laughs> and uh, we ended up settling down in South Jersey, uh, close to her family. So um, Bill reached out to me. He's like, are you living in South Jersey? And I was like, yeah, man. And ended up just connecting and talking a little bit. And he's like, where at? And, you know, I was 25 minutes from his alma mater, uh, Winslow Township. Um, so he was coaching there and he's like, dude, come help me. So um, ended up working out and we did it. And last year was my first year. And it was uh, it was good for me because I always kind of had a had a idea that I wanted to get back in, in and around the game in that capacity. And the high school level was something that I definitely wanted to at least start with just because um, it's pure, man. You get to really influence some kids and, and, and bring your experiences and knowledge to guys who um, really want to learn. And um, they're really uh, moldable at that age, if that makes sense. So uh, teaching them how to play the right way and, and um, giving them just the experiences that I had and where I could have done better and things of that nature. It's just, it's super rewarding. And, we got a great group of kids, and working with Bill obviously makes it a lot easier um, due to our prior relationships. So it's it's been a lot of fun, and looking forward to this year. So, point number one: this will not be the last time you will not win the battle of <laughs> with your wife as to what, what you're going to do. So we'll start with that. And I know Tatum, so it's <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. exactly okay. Uh, so now you know it's interesting in what I do, and obviously I've done this for a long time, but. Uh, I tell everybody that I had a mentor and there's a lot of elements that today, you know, and his name, by the way, was Gil Santos. He did the Patriots for 40 years, but he did Penn State for four and I was the third guy. And I felt like I was sitting there like a sponge absorbing how he did his job. And there's still phrases I turn today and there's ways I teach my class today that he helped teach me. So who influenced you as a teacher as to how to teach the game? I've been very fortunate. I mean, I grew up on the sidelines. My grandfather, my dad's dad, was a high school coach for 30-plus years up in northeastern PA, um, which if you're familiar with high school football, uh, back in the day, you know, you had Berwick, Mount Carmel. Yep. There, was, there was some really good football being played up there, and he was right in the thick of that. Um, head coach at Jim Thorpe and yep. um, North Schuylkill. Um, so – between him and my dad, my dad coached when I when I was younger, uh, back at his alma mater, Marion Catholic High School. Um, so I grew up on the sidelines. So I, I got to see successful programs at a young age, um, and I was just always around elements of people. My mom was a teacher. Both my grandparents were teachers. So um, I was always around the element of how to how to impact people and how to get a message across and, and motivate them to to get to that net net result that you're looking for. So I think that definitely having that at a young age played a big role in it, but then all the coaches that I've been around and credit to my parents, you know, not just with myself, but all my brothers, um, youth sports all the way through high school, you know, they, they made it a point to put us around the best people that they could. And they had both played sports collegiately and, um, you know, had a good idea what good was. So, you know, was just down this weekend, right after the Coach vs. Cancer Tournament. My high school coach got inducted into our hall, our hall of Fame at Fork Union. So just people like that and the relationships you build. You know, you pick things up as a player, and then, you know, being able to reflect on that now, those points stick with you. Um, to your point that you just made about your mentor, um, those points stick with you. And whether you realize it or not, it makes an influence, and it, it drives the way that you do things and operate. So I've just been really fortunate since I was young. Are there actual pieces of advice that you give that you sit back later and said, 
Yeah, that's what I was told verbatim by and whomever it might be. Do you find yourself sometimes <laughs> repeating some of those things? Yeah, sometimes I have uh, I have my the one the one who is who like I said I think just because of the age and again a part of the reason why I coach high school football is my high school coach uh, Mickey Sullivan. Yeah, um, he just coached coached at Fork Union for forty plus years. Um, you know, coached some really good football players, Eddie George, Chris Perry. So um, he's he was a unique way of doing it, but he's, you know, uh, he's a character and definitely see Mickey coming through me every once in a while. I look back and like, dang, dude, sounds just like, <laughs> um, but he, uh, he had a, he had a great way of impacting kids and he did it for, for years. And it was, you know, just the, just his hall of fame induction, the, the, the generations of guys that were back there, like it, it showed and everyone had Mickey isms as we call them. Um, and, uh, yeah, you definitely catch that throughout the process without a doubt you also when you played here you had to be tough both physically and mentally christian you had to be tough it was you know the really the roughest time i've seen around here you know because mm -hmm. of the limited scholarships and everything that bill dealt with what james dealt with what did that do to toughen you up mentally uh not just on the football side which you can relate to young people now but also in life well i mean that's the funny thing is is to me, sports are the greatest teacher of life. It, when you look at it, at its core, the elements, relationships, trustworthiness, um, dependability, all these things that, that make you successful in any, any avenue that you choose. Um, as a father, as a brother, as a son, um, you know, you name it, they cross over. So, yeah, I think, I think, a lot of those experiences now and then having been out of it for a while and being able to reflect on it. And I think some people go two different ways, right? It's, it's, you know, the woe is me and, you know, the, the hardships kind of don't come out positive on the other end. And you have a lot of guys who, who take those hardships, internalize them. And then, you know, like I said, really want to help others not, not have to go through those things and you have to harden them because at the end of the day, it's inevitable, but, um, you know, help them navigate those waters a little bit better. And everyone does that. And that's, I think that's just part of growth and passing along the experiences. And if you, if you, if you can do that, man, you should, I think there's, there's a lot of guys who don't, who don't share that information and, um, or maybe hesitant to, but you never know who you're going to impact. Exactly. Uh, in, in your coaching style, which is still in its infancy, so you're going to go into another season coming up. Mm -hmm. Sports, sports is supposed to be fun. Now we all know winning's fun. Winning's yeah. a lot of fun. But what do you do uh, uh, that you picked up along the way that during the course of a week, maybe during the course of a couple of weeks, where you make it fun for your players? What have you come up with just that so that you can bring out the enjoyment of the game with them? Well, I think now you know the, the landscape's changed so much, especially in high school sports. There's so much pressure on these kids to to be results oriented they're whether it's chasing a scholarship or or whatever but getting them to embrace and love the process um has been something that i've really focused on and and portraying it in a way of a guy who has been there done that and has made mistakes and has also done it correctly in some ways um and it's funny because bill and i are kind of opposites like bill's fiery and <laughs> you, you laugh because of how quiet he was, but he's a very fiery, like in your face type of personality. Whereas I'm much more similar to how I, how I was. And I think you can attest to this on the field and off the field at times, you know, when I speak, it's because something needs to be said, but I try to be the, the steady rock on yep. the, on the, on the ship. Agreed. Yep. And, um, that's kind of how I take that. And then, like I said, just, just being able to find creative ways to, to connect with the kids um and it helps like obviously having played having played where i played and had the experiences that i've experienced you know that that just helps you know face value when the kids get introduced so like oh wow so the credibility is there but then it's about really developing those those relationships and figuring out what what makes each of those kids tick um and to your point there's a lot of ways to do it but i i try to make the high school game as fun as it can because like i said it's media pressure and and, and pressure of 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 uh of expectations and things of that nature i think should stay out of high school sports i think they should play three sports as many sports as they can as long as they can um 
And I just try to impress that on these kids and just say, listen, man, this is the most fun you're going to have playing football because it's pure. It's with your buddies you grew up with. Um, you're representing your town. Like there's there's something about high school football, and that's that's what really drew me to that. How important is that balance for the team that Bill is the way he is and you are the way you are? It took a little while for for us to figure it out, but I think it, I think it's big because you know obviously Bill having played at Winslow and having the high school career he had, you know he's he's sort of a, an urban legend around here, yeah. um, <laughs> and the kids see that. And then, uh, you know, me as an outsider coming in, but also, you know, they know that Bill trusts me and, and there's just a really good synergy behind it. Um, we're wired very much the same way when it comes to our approach offensively. Um, and then me working with the quarterbacks, you know, I always just try to impress on him like, hey, you know, this is the guy that's going to make this whole thing go. So you're, at times he can start focusing on, you know, the running backs and certain things that, that are very important. But at the end of the day, the guy that's going to make the, make the whole engine run is the guy pulling the trigger and making the decision. So um, I just try to try to get that, but it works really well. And we both respect the hell out of each other. Uh, been through a lot together. So this is just fun now for us. And it's, it's, it's been really cool just seeing the growth over the year. Um, excited to see what happens in the future. Obviously, a lot of natural gifts, your arm, set up, how you throw it, the whole deal. But I also thought that in the three years you were here, I always liked what I saw from you pre-snap. Can you impart pre-snap to high school quarterbacks? You know, it's – and that's that's that kind of goes back to, like, seeing what you're working with, right? You know, yeah. you have some kids who can pick those things up, and you don't necessarily want to – set a kid up for failure right if they can handle that stuff by all means like get them in the boardroom start talking about defenses start talking about fronts start talking about why things work and if they they can pick that up like I want to feed it to them but then there's also that fine line of like at the end of the day you don't want to overwhelm somebody to the point where they turn into this just head case robot that's trying to implement all these things it's got to come natural it's got to right. be sublime right like you you, you have to it just has to be something that comes to you. And some kids do it, some kids don't. And it sometimes takes longer than others to be able to, to pick those things up. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely something we tried. And whatever they could handle, we we went with. Um, and that's the nice part about having, you know, those experiences like you're saying. I didn't come in with my ability from a pre-snap standpoint. I was just fortunate enough to be able to pick it up. And, and Coach O'Brien trusted me enough. So, yeah. You know, there was a natural evolution there. So I've seen all ends of that spectrum, and I've kind of been in their shoes learning that stuff. Yeah. And uh, it takes takes some time. It takes reps. you got to see it. So, you know, we just try as much as we can to put them in situations to have those experiences and, and let them grow from there. You're enjoying this, and you're going to come back for a second year with Bill Belton working on that staff. And I, and I, I spent a lot of time with Bill when he was up here in April. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you want to go further with this? Do you maybe want to get maybe to be a head coach in high school, maybe be a college coach at some point? You, yeah, have you thought about yeah. that yet? You know, that's it's funny. I, very easy to get, you know, start thinking about those those big picture, 5,000-foot view things. But, you know, for <laughs> me right now, I, I again, kind of like what I try with the kids is I just – I'm trying to get very process-oriented and trying to figure out all the other things that are going on. So. Yeah. It's definitely something that's in the back of my mind, and you know, I've taken I've taken a liking to this, and just getting some experience, and starting to see how other guys do things outside of the experiences I had at, in, at the college and the pro level, and and just kind of formulating in my brain, you know, how I would do it, you know, how things would go. But right now, like my focus again, I've told Bill this over and over again, like I want to see him succeed. He's gone, he's gone all in on this, so that's kind of my focus is helping him <laughs> and the kids, and then you know, I'm. From from my career in this in this path, from that standpoint, you know, I want to work with the right people. So I'm not going to jump yeah. in it just to jump in it. You know what I mean? Always a privilege to spend any time with you. Thanks so much for doing that with us today. Appreciate it. It was also really great to see you last week. Yes, sir. We'll make sure we do it more often. I appreciate you having me on. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to talking again soon. Thanks, Christian. I see.